Yo, what's up, dudes? How's it going? So uh, I get a lot of questions about, you know, what's out there for modeling software, because I do a lot with modeling software. What's out there for the mobile platforms? And until today, I could say well, there's really only one game in town, and that's iOS. No one else has the speed. And by speed, I mean you hit the string, and you hear the sound back in a very uh, quick unnoticeable delay and it feels like real time feels like you're playing through an amp to get that you really need about we call that latency and it's measured in milliseconds and we need to keep that really under about 10 milliseconds i think beyond 10 milliseconds um you really start to notice it by the time you get to 20 25 milliseconds it it feels ridiculous and by the time you get to like 50 milliseconds which was the prior standard uh, if you look at some of the comments on like drum machines on the Android, they're like, how come there's so much delay? And the manufacturers say, the best we can get is a 50 millisecond delay. That's the lowest we can get it. And that's pretty bad, right? That feels, uh, right? It, it feels when you hit it, you don't really get that feedback for 50 milliseconds. That does feel like a stutter. That does feel like a delay. So IK Multimedia, who makes Amplitude, they announced this morning that they've developed a new uh, driver, I guess, uh, a new API, I don't know what it is, it wouldn't be an API because they don't really own Android, but anyway, they, they came up with some way to turn the Android platform, and it's from Android 4.0 and newer, so that covers quite a few versions, 4.0, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.4, 4.5, you know, and of course, five Lollipop 5.01, which is out now, um, Anything from 4.0 and forward that you can get latency of two milliseconds round trip. That's one millisecond down and one millisecond back. I am probably, it says I'm doing five, 2.7 milliseconds on my hardware. I believe that when they report that, they're only reporting one way. So I'm probably 5.4 milliseconds on the round trip. But again, that feels instant. Anything under 10 milliseconds feels pretty instant. Uh, when you start to get over that, and by the time you get to 50 milliseconds, it's a joke, right? It's really unusable. So this is really great news because anytime we come out with more uh, devices in the marketplace, more software in the marketplace, more competition, uh, that's great. So IK Multimedia probably uh, is going to keep their 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 method a secret. Um, I don't know if they'd be able to patent it or what the process is on that. I'm sure they could. It depends on the licensing from for Android, right? I, maybe once you get to controlling the hardware, you're not allowed to... Uh, it could be a licensing thing. I don't know. I really don't know. So I don't know whether this is going to be something freely shareable or if it's going to be an IK multimedia only thing and it's going to leave the rest of the companies, companies like, you know, Positive Grid and uh, who's very popular on iOS or uh, uh, of course Amplitude is the other big one and is Guitar Rig on on iOS? I'm not even sure um, but you know again uh, I think TH2 has an iOS version I don't know whether they're going to be able to just use that um, method moving forward uh, if IK Multimedia is saying that they sort of invented it then my, my guess is no that it will be an IK multimedia thing only. But again, it just sort of opens the door and it gives you hope that the platform is going to eventually get a whole bunch of competition on there for, for software. If IK multimedia somehow uh, keeps this you know, under wraps and no one else can use it and they have a patent on it, well, that could be tricky. But uh, I have a feeling that at the very least, they'd be able to get like a functionality patent, which is it's like necessary to make, the, to make it run. Uh, and then you can get a very low licensing fee on it. So um, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, but I think that what you should take away from this is that this is a seismic shift in, in mobile platform uh, audio processing, and that up and until this morning, uh, the only game in town was iOS, and now it's going to be iOS and Android, and that's very, two very big platforms. So uh, I welcome 
I welcome this because anytime we have more competition, it's always better for the consumer. So bring it on. <laughs> you guys fight it out and we, we as consumers win. So I think it's great news. Uh, I'll be at the NAM show in a few weeks. I will definitely stop by IK Multimedia and see if I can get the lowdown on what's going on there. And um, it's exciting. All right, guys, as always, rock on.